Welcome to the True Guy Globe Brief Updates. Subscribe and press the bell icon for updates. Manila, Philippines. Serious discussions are underway in the Department of National Defense about the future of Philippine air power. As regional tensions rise and the security environment becomes more unpredictable, the need for a stronger, more capable air force has never been more urgent. The focus of these talks is the FA-50 Block 20, a potential game-changer for the Philippine Air Force and a symbol of the country's commitment to defending its skies. The current FA-50PH fleet brought back supersonic air defense, restoring a vital capability that had been missing for years. But the region's security landscape is evolving fast with new challenges emerging from both state and non-state actors. The Block 20 is seen as the answer to these new threats, offering advanced technology and greater flexibility in a rapidly changing environment. It's not just an upgrade, it's a leap toward a credible deterrent, giving the Philippines the ability to respond swiftly and decisively to any incursion or provocation. Imagine a Philippine fighter jet able to detect and engage threats at unprecedented distances, with cutting-edge sensors and targeting systems that rival those of much larger air forces. The Block 20 bridges the gap between a trainer and a true multi-role combat aircraft, capable of both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions, and ready to take on a variety of roles in defense of the nation. The conversation is no longer about if, but how to acquire more advanced fighters efficiently, ensuring that the Air Force keeps pace with regional developments and technological advancements. The FA-50 Block 20 builds on a trusted platform, offering a logical next step in modernization. Its proven reliability and adaptability make it an ideal choice for the Philippines' unique defense needs. With advanced radar, expanded weapons, and enhanced electronic warfare, it shifts the Air Force from a reactive to a proactive defense. This means being able to anticipate threats and act before they escalate. This video will break down the key differences, upgrades, and strategic implications of the Block 20, helping you understand why this aircraft matters for the country's future. We'll explore how it fits into the Air Force's Horizon 3 modernization plan and what it means for the Philippines' long-term security and regional standing. This is about more than hardware. It's about securing Philippine sovereignty in a complex world, ensuring that the nation's skies remain safe for generations to come. Subscribe and press the bell icon for updates. The arrival of the FA-50PH marked a historic moment for the Philippines, signaling the return of supersonic capability to the nation's air force after more than a decade without it. For years the skies had been quiet, but now, the roar of these jets echoed a renewed sense of strength and determination. The FA-50PH quickly became more than just a fighter jet. It emerged as a symbol of national pride and resilience. Its versatility allowed it to serve as a reliable workhorse, training a new generation of pilots, patrolling the country's vast airspace, and providing crucial support to ground troops during critical missions. Its true value was proven in the heat of battle during the 2017 Battle of Marawi, where the FA-50PH delivered precise airstrikes that played a pivotal role in supporting ground operations and restoring order. Built on the reliable T-50 Golden Eagle platform, the FA-50PH is known for its agility, ease of maintenance, and a powerful proven engine, qualities that make it a favorite among pilots and ground crews alike. The initial fleet helped the Philippines re-establish its air combat credentials. However, with only basic radar systems and a limited arsenal, the FA-50PH was always intended as a stepping stone toward more advanced capabilities. As neighboring countries began to field increasingly advanced fighters, the need for the Philippines to upgrade and modernize its own air force became ever more apparent, highlighting the importance of keeping pace with regional developments. The FA-50PH was the perfect platform for regaining lost skills and rebuilding confidence in the skies, but it was clear that this was only the beginning of a larger journey for the Philippine Air Force. Now, as the security environment in the region continues to evolve, the Air Force faces a new challenge to adapt, modernize, and ensure that the Philippines remains ready to defend its skies and its future. The FA-50's success isn't limited to the Philippines, it's a global export hit. South Korea, Indonesia and Thailand all operate variants, proving its reliability and adaptability. Poland's recent order, driven by urgent needs and NATO compatibility, highlights the platform's growth potential. A broad user base means better supply chains, shared knowledge and lower upgrade costs. The FA-50 is now a globally recognized platform with a clear development roadmap. 
For the Philippines, this makes further investment in the Block 20 a smart, low-risk move. The FA-50 Block 20 is a major evolution, not a new airframe. It transforms the FA-50 from a trainer into a credible multi-role fighter. This upgrade is central to the Air Force's Horizon 3 program, focused on external defense. Enhanced sensors and long-range weapons let the Air Force project power deeper into contested areas. The Block 20 integrates tech from advanced fighters' ASO radar, targeting pods, and precision munitions. Existing infrastructure and trained crews make the transition cost-effective and fast. Instead of starting over, the Air Force builds on what it knows. The Block 20 is the smart strategic evolution for Philippine air power. The biggest leap in the Block 20 is its radar. Upgrading from a basic mechanically scanned system to an advanced AESA radar. AESA offers instant scanning, multi-target tracking, and strong resistance to jamming. This gives pilots first look, first shot capability, crucial in modern air combat. The new radar enables use of beyond visual range missiles, a game changer for air superiority. Upgraded avionics include a powerful mission computer and high-res displays, turning pilots into battle space managers. The Block 20's cockpit fuses data for faster, smarter decisions. This isn't just an upgrade, it's a transformation into a new class of fighter. The Block 20's sensors and avionics put it on par with much more expensive jets. The Block 20's operational reach is boosted by 300-gallon external tanks and aerial refueling capability. This means longer patrols, greater combat radius and more flexibility for missions over the vast Philippine archipelago. Extended loiter time is vital for maritime patrol and persistent presence. Aerial refueling, now standard, gives the Block 20 true strategic reach, limited only by pilot endurance. The combination of bigger tanks and refueling transforms the FA-50 into a strategic asset. The Air Force can now project power anywhere in the country anytime. Range and endurance are no longer limiting factors. Survival in modern air combat depends on more than speed and firepower. The Block 20 features a sophisticated electronic warfare suite, far beyond the basic self-protection of the FA-50PH. It can jam enemy radars, deploy countermeasures automatically, and protect both itself and allied aircraft. Pod-based EW systems add dedicated electronic attack capability, enabling suppression of enemy air defenses. This upgrade allows the Air Force to conduct complex offensive operations and survive in high-threat environments. Automated systems free pilots to focus on the mission, not just survival. The difference is stark. The Block 20 is built to survive and win against advanced threats. Electronic warfare is now a core strength, not an afterthought. The Block 20's combat punch comes from its advanced weapons. It adds beyond visual range missiles like the AIM-120 AMRAM, letting pilots engage threats from miles away. Precision-guided bombs and the sniper targeting pod enable pinpoint strikes day or night. Anti-ship missiles give the Air Force a new tool to defend maritime territory. The Block 20 can now enforce air sovereignty and strike land or sea targets with precision. This arsenal transforms the F-A-50 from a light attack jet into a true multi-role platform. The Air Force gains flexibility and lethality across all mission types. The Block 20 is ready for the full spectrum of modern combat. Modern warfare is about networks, not just individual jets. The Block 20 adds Link 16, the NATO standard data link, for real-time sharing of sensor data. This creates a common operational picture with other aircraft, ships, and ground units. Pilots see not just their own radar but what allies detect, enabling coordinated tactics and reducing confusion. Electronic target assignment and silent coordination become possible. Link 16 integration is a leap to network-centric warfare for the Philippine Air Force. Joint operations with the Navy and Army become seamless. The Block 20 is a force multiplier, not just a better plane. Cost isn't just about buying jets, it's about keeping them flying. The Block 20 leverages existing FA-50 infrastructure, reducing transition costs and training time. Ground crews and pilots need only incremental training, streamlining logistics and boosting readiness. Advanced systems like ASA radar and targeting pods do add new maintenance needs and costs. Specialized equipment and training are required, but overall costs remain lower than for larger fighters. The FA-50's single-engine design keeps fuel and maintenance bills manageable. The Block 20 offers near-4.5-generation dash dash 5 dash generation capability at a fraction of the cost. It's a pragmatic, sustainable choice for the Philippine Air Force. The leap from the FA-50PH to the Block 20 is more than just an upgrade. It's a true transformation for the Philippine Air Force. 
This shift represents a bold step forward, bringing new capabilities that were previously out of reach and signaling a new era in the country's air defense. With the addition of ASA radar beyond visual range, BVR missiles, advanced targeting systems, and electronic warfare suites, the Block 20 becomes exponentially more lethal and survivable. These technologies allow pilots to detect threats earlier, engage enemies from greater distances, and operate in contested environments with far greater confidence. The Block 20's extended range and precision-guided weapons directly address the Philippines' most urgent security needs, especially in protecting its vast maritime borders and responding to regional challenges. This means the country can better defend its territory and respond rapidly to any threat. Importantly, the Block 20 builds on existing investments in the FA-50 fleet, minimizing transition costs and maximizing operational readiness. The Air Force can leverage its current infrastructure and experience making the shift smoother and more efficient. While these advanced systems do require new training for pilots and maintenance crews, the overall cost remains far more manageable than acquiring an entirely new fighter type. This approach ensures the Air Force stays modern without straining the defense budget. The Block 20 is the logical, cost-effective path to building a modern, networked Air Force. It enables seamless integration with allied forces and advanced command systems, enhancing the country's overall defense posture. By bridging the gap between light combat jets and high-end fighters, the Block 20 gives the Philippines flexibility and strength, allowing it to adapt to a wide range of missions and threats. For the Philippines, the Block 20 is a decisive step toward a credible, sovereign air defense one that will protect the nation and its people for decades to come, ensuring peace and stability in the region.